Hi everyone, I've got a haul for you today. Um, I've got a number seven bag here and got some stuff from the Mac Shop Mac Cook Mac collection and a couple of things that I bought off a blog sale and also a couple of Avon items. So I'll start off with just a few random bits from Boot. Start off with the number seven. I got two uh, nail polishers. One is in the colour Jammer, which is a pink with a kind of fuchsia pink uh, sheen th running through it very pretty in fact this one is actually my daughter's i had the f a few of the five pound vouchers so i let her choose something she chose that nail polish i chose this polish I'm not sure whether i'm keeping it myself or putting it into uh, my next giveaway i've got to have a think about that one but this is the stay perfect nail color in so simple this is a beautiful beige, but it make it's made wearable because it has got a silver shimmer in it, and the sheen, uh, sh sorry, the shimmer is so fine. I don't think it'd be it'd pick up on here even in really good sunlight. I think you can just about see it there, but uh, I'm sure with that sheen in it, it's going to make it a lot more wearable. So that is so simple. Then, also from number seven, I bought two more items from the Vital Brights collection. One is something that I spotted in Lisa Eldridge's video. I think it was the day after I'd bought it. Um, and this is the Vital Brights Cream Blush in Blooming Pink. And it's basically like a neon pink. Um, I'll give you a little swatch. You literally only need the tiniest dab of this. That's it there. This is such a gorgeous and brightening colour. And it's just there. I've just put it on and blended it slightly. But you can imagine, but in the summer that is just going to lift the cheeks and give a really nice flush, especially if you've got a tan and it's going to give that sun kiss look as if you've caught the sun. And then to match that, I also bought the Blooming Pink Lipstick. Now this lipstick is quite reminiscent of the blush, whereas the Blossoming Pink Lipstick is nothing like the Blossoming Pink Blush because they did have two um, colour selections. You could either have Blossoming Pink or Blooming Pink and I did get all of them because I love them all so much. Plus I had the £5 off vouchers and the, every single item in this um, collection that I that I noticed was ten pound, so I ended up getting them all for five, which I thought was a really good um, discount. So that is bl blooming pink, I think. Yeah, blooming pink, and this is oh my god, this is amazing. This reminds me of a my luster finish. What is it with me doing videos? Every single time I do a video, that ice cream man comes. So this reminds me of a luster finish and it's there. Look at the texture, it's so glossy. It's it's sheer but pigmented. It's not overly pigmented or matte or anything like that so it's going to make it a lot more easy to wear and that is just going to look so fresh and beautiful uh, when I've got a tan, well not exactly a tan, but when I've got a little bit more colour to my skin rather than being really pale. But I'm sure even if you're pale you could pull that off, in fact I'm sure it looked beautiful. So they're the two items that I bought from the Vital Bright selection. Then I got um, a Dainty Doll eyeshadow and this is for my next giveaway which is why I've not taken it out of the box. Um, but this is in the colour 002, Treat Her Like A Lady. Now I've got my uh, uh, eyeshadow of the same colour here to show you. This, the reason I got this is because I thought it'd be a really nice alternative to the like the champagne colours that people wear on the lids um, and colours like that. And this is a taupe, but it is a very, very, very light taupe and it's so beautiful. This is honestly one of the most beautiful eyeshadows that I, that I own. It's amazing. And this is a satin texture. Now, like I say, this is really brightening for the eyes, so it's going to give um, a really nice colour for the lid, but at the same time, you could use this... Now, with it being this um, 
shade you can easily get away with wearing it all over the lid um, even on its own but that's it there I've been wearing it all over the lid on its own then I've worn NARS Larsa in the crease and it has looked amazing and that is not doing it justice it is such a beautiful beautiful texture and it's got more of a sheen let me see if I can turn like that So that one is Dainty Dolls True Tail Like Lady. Now I've got, also got two Avon Super Shock Gel uh, Eyeliners. And I do own quite a few of these already in different shades. This is in the colour Golden Phone. And I went for this one because it's quite different. And I thought this would be nice for the waterline or for um, the inner corners. And this, oh my god, I've not seen an eyeliner colour like this ever in my life. It is such an amazing colour. It actually reminds me of the Dainty Doll eyeshadow that I've just shown you. And these are such amazing pigmentation. And great staying power. So that is right there. You can see it's really shiny and then it also has like a, a golden champagne-ish taupe-iness to it. It's really hard to describe but it. it's beautiful. Golden phone very very nice this this one is in the colour black beret now i also got one of these to go into my giveaway because i thought black beret i think more people would appreciate this colour rather than the golden phone that's it on the end there i'll show you golden phone on the end because i didn't show you that one that one is golden phone and now that is what the colour looks like to me when i've swatched it on my hand such a gorgeous colour seriously if you can get your hands on that get your hands on it so this one is in the shade Blackberry, and I'll swatch it next to Golden Phone. Now this is basically a blackened plum, and it's the one on the end here. Now look at that, it's not a typical purple, so you, you wouldn't look at it and think, wow, that girl's got purple all over her eyes, but it does have that hint of plumminess to it, and it is so beautiful. That is such a gorgeous colour. Love that. So I've got one of them to go into my giveaway. Because I, I know that it's always nice um, to have got winning items that you can't get hold of in, in the area where you live. Now I've got two items from the Shop Mac Cook Mac collection. This one is a tender tone in the shade Purring. And that's the packaging really pretty I love it but I'd have loved it even more if the actual container was like that and then this is like a recent collection was it the glitter and ice bugger off seriously it's like something like eight o'clock at night and the ice cream man is actually out so this is the colour purring I better get this done before the ice cream man sets off again and this is like a tangerine colour and I was drawn to this one I was also drawn to the red one in fact I like them all I didn't like the look of the yellow one but it smells like watermelon with possibly a bit of strawberry in there definitely smell the watermelon though without a doubt but I've actually wore this over a uh, Viva Glam Nicker I'll give you a little swatch Now as you can see that is extremely sheer so that's not going it's not going to look mega orange on the lips. It just gives a nice little bit of a sheen and feels amazing. It feels really really nice. It's so smooth. It's not sticker. It feels really really moisturizing and then it's got the SPF 12 which is an amazingly high SPF but it's better than none at all. And then I also got Innocence Beware. This is something that I've wanted ever since the Venomous Villains collection was released, but I was too late on that one, and for some reason... In fact, I did try to get it, but it must have been sold out more or less instantly because I couldn't get my hands on it. But this is just a nude, and I haven't bought many nudes lately, which is how I push myself into buying it. Um, it does remind me a little bit of Creme de Nude, but this looks like it's got a bit more of a peachy tint to it. This is a little bit, well, 
quite a lot more wearable than creme de nude. I'll swatch that on this hand. I've just done a video of some bits and bobs that I was sent from Australia in a swap. So I've got swatches all over my hands. But it is there. So as you can tell, it's not ridiculously pigmented. And it is quite a wearable um, nude for me, anyway. And then I've got a few bits and bobs that I bought off the Russian Babes 81, I think, uh, blog sale. She has some quite rare bits and bobs. And the things that I got were a cream blend, cream blend blush in Joy de Vive and I've worn this today although it's more or less worn off but it looks beautiful with uh, Viva Glam Nika exactly the same colour more or less and it is absolutely stunning and this will literally last me forever I could share this with three other people and it would still last me forever because today I literally just tapped my finger on it so gently and it gave me more than enough pigmentation. Now bear in mind, I've done it this uh, bright so that you can see the colour. So that's it there. So it's a pinky coral, so pretty. Very nice for fair, fair all the way through to dark uh, skin tones. That is gonna look amazing on anybody. And then I got a lot of Inglot eyeshadows for $25. And I think there's 10 here, let me just count them. Eight, ten, yeah, ten. So that's like two pound fifty each. Now there are some wacky colours, but I'll definitely wear them as eyeliners. Um, but there's also some really nice wearable colours in there as well. And I'll start off with the wackier colours. Um, this is eyeshadow AMC Shine 05. I'll not take these out of the package, but if you want a more in-depth review on the Inglot shadows, I definitely will do that. So. Um, that one's quite glittery and shimmery and it's a uh, blue with a uh, like an aqua green undertone to it like an almost duochrome but it's not uh, coming through there this one is quite um, similar to another one that's in this selection it's not the same uh, but this is AMC Shine 24 and this is an aqua colour so pretty I'll definitely wear all these colours and then it's got the shimmering as well and it's like an icy sheen this is the one that is very similar to that one although this is more green and this one is AMC Shine 101 and this is one of the round ones so as you can see it is extremely similar although this one does have more green in it I'm not sure if it's going to come through now I think you can see this one is a slight bit lighter and a slight little bit more blue. I bet it's not coming through there, but it is so, so pretty. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous. Then I got this one. This one reminds me of Jewel Blue by MAC, which I also own. And this one is Matte 372. And it's a gorgeous, I suppose a teal. A lighter teal really really pretty and that one's got amazing uh, pigmentation this one reminds me of Spearmint from the Body Shop although this one's a little bit darker and more shimmery but this is AMC Shine 115 a beautiful colour this one comes off looking really nice it's like a greenish grey these are the colours that I really really like and I've got this one, which is a brown, is it brown? Yep, this is a brown with purplish, like a purpley, purplish red shimmer. And this is AMC 62. Now the purple's not quite coming through there. Let me just take it out of the pot and see if you can see it. It's amazing. Oh my god, I could sit and look at that all day. Look at the heart. That is an amazing colour to go out with. Or go out in. Not exactly go out with. I don't think it would make a very good boyfriend. 
This one is again a very nice shimmery brown and this one is a little bit more cooler toned or quite a bit more cooler toned with a golden shimmer and this one is DS which is Double Sparkle 459. AMC, I've actually forgot what that one stands for but I know it means that it's basically sweat proof and waterproof and all that lot. I'm not sure if it's... I can't remember. Uh, someone actually told me the other day but look at that one. This one is DS459. Beautiful brown, absolutely stunning chocolatey brown uh, with a cool tone to it it's not like a red reddened chocolate brown then I've got two absolutely stunning purples this one again is sparkler and this is uh, AMC eyeshadow 73 and all these were brand new they've not had any swatches or anything done to them obviously they weren't brand new because she'd bought them but um, as for uh, swatches did not been touched like that so that is a beautiful purple and purples um, really make uh, my green eyes pop and then another purple this is beautiful this just looks like really nice uh, you know you see the really thick velvet uh, purple curtains well this reminds me of like velvet and this is pearl 446 and this is such a stunning colour again. Now this hasn't got glitter on it. Oh, it must have got a bit of glitter in, on it. But I thought that might have been some that have come off other eyeshadows. Because this is a pearl and pearls don't usually have shimmer. But that is gorgeous. And last but most certainly not least is eyeshadow Pearl 453. Which is just a really nice kind of ivory shade nice and pearly in fact it is just like the colour of a pearl sorry about my gross hands I've got swatches all over me so that is my haul thank you so much for watching and spending the time um, to come and tune into my video I'll see you all again soon take care and bye bye for now